Okay, guys, we have something really special to share with you today. It's our Halloween box. Surprisingly, I only have one box for Halloween. I think, I think I'm missing one. I have to search a little more, but everything, well, I guess we'll see if everything's in here. Um, I swear there's one box, but this is a wreath. I usually keep in a wreath holder um, in storage, and I actually made this wreath with these craft pumpkins and this, I forget what they call it, grapevine from Michael's. Um, the whole tutorial is on the blog if you want to check it out, but uh, that's a wreath that I crafted for our door. But the real stuff... <laughs> The real stuff is in here. And if you could, you can kind of see something peeking through. Okay. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, dun, 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 uh, To be honest, this is all going to be filled with either pumpkins or ghosts. I guarantee it. This pillow, this ghost pillow, is from Pottery Barn last year. I was not able to have this for Halloween last year because it arrived after Halloween. So this is actually the very first Halloween where we get to have this cute ghost pillow in our collection. I love it so much. Okay, where do I begin? Um, let's go with these. These pumpkin pillows. Ugh. For me, these pumpkin pillows uh, we crafted last year. We use this teddy bear fabric, filled it with um, polyfill. This is a wine cork with twine. We made these last year. Um, <laughs> I feel like last summer when we went up to my parents' house, and so we had like a little uh, a little line going to make these pillows. So we have a, all of these pillows are in here. So we have the small one. You know, I guess we we'll call this medium small we have you know another big one they look they're so cute um these the inspiration for these is pottery barn and um i actually have one inside you'll be able to see and we did one in white thought that would be good okay what else we have in here let's go with this i got i think i got this one from michael's I don't know how many years ago. It had a light in here that was all multicolor, and you couldn't turn it on in the store, so when I put the batteries in it, I didn't realize it was multicolor, and I did not like it. I want orange. But when you put something in here, it's not really bright at all. But it's kind of creepy looking, and it's like, like dying pumpkin patch kind of creepy. It's like bat faces. I've just held on to it. It just kind of reminds me of... Uh, you know, Halloween in, you know, one of our first, one of our first apartments. Let's go, okay, let's go back to ghosts. These little guys. Oh my God. If you shop at Home Goods, maybe TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I got these from Home Goods. No, that's a lie. I got the, this one got, I came from Marshalls. This one came from Home Goods. I got this one a few years ago. I thought it was so cute. I kept going back and forth. Should I go get it? Should I not go get it? And I'm like, you know, F it. Let me go get it. And then last year, during the pandemic, you know, height of pandemic Halloween or the year before, 2020, I saw this and I'm like, this just makes me happy. <laughs> so we have one little, little witch hat and one, you know, just a regular ghost boo. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know where I put these usually, but um, they're just, you know, they make me happy. What do we have? Okay, back to pumpkins. This? There's nothing fun in here. Um, this is just a, this is our son's candy box or candy bag from last year. But we have these flickering candles. There's no batteries because I'm smart enough not to leave the batteries inside. I really, really love these. Um, they are pumpkin candles. They actually do a, like, a nice flicker, and they can go really bright or really dim. Uh, your choice. I have, I have so many of them. One, two, three, four, five, 
four. There's four of them in here. I absolutely love them. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them to the post. Um, we use them in our pumpkins and other things. They come with remotes. So there's remotes inside. And this is just padding in here. So, oh, here's another craft. This is a, this is supposed to be a mummy. It's using a craft pumpkin. I think I got the craft pumpkin from, I, I wanna say Michael's. I wanna say Michael's. Um, this is cheesecloth. Those are you know, obviously little googly eyes. We cut a little mouth out here. But I crafted this a few years ago too. There's a, there's a tutorial on our blog if you wanna check it out. Um, I'll again, I'll link everything in this video down below. Um, but I really, this, this is one of my favorites. And again, reminds me of one of our first Halloweens um, in, in New York City. And uh, I've had it, gosh, I've had it for all, a really long time now. Um, another, again, another pumpkin. I told you, either have pumpkins or ghosts. There's no in between. Okay, so this, what I showed you earlier, this is what was inspired. Um, I'll show you what inspired us making these. This is from Pottery Barn. This I got, let me see if I can go a little lower. This I got last year for Halloween. It was one of those purchases you make like in the summertime and then it doesn't arrive until October. I absolutely love it. This year they have it, it like lights up. Um, I'm not really a fan of the light up one but I was so happy that I got this last year. It's humongous and it's just, it's just perfect. It's perfect. I, I don't know. So I'm so excited um, for this pillow. And suddenly all I have are pumpkins and ghosts and pumpkin pillows. What are we, oh, here's some good mugs for Halloween. This one I got from Pottery Barn years ago it's just like a really fun jack-o-lantern mug i really love this one i really love the handle on it um and just another festive another festive mug to have for halloween right, how many of these do i have this one is oh yeah here we go here's a ghost mug this is also from pottery barn this was a few years ago too, or this was last year, I forget. I think I bought this once they went on sale right after Halloween. Um, so I got one of these little ghost mugs. Also great and, you know, I really have to diversify my Halloween stuff. Oh, this was another one. This one's from Target years ago before they started making the really cute ghosts. They made this one, and I love this so much. One of my favorites. But that's that's our box. I, I don't know if I'm missing one, honestly. I could be, but I'll have to look for it. But thanks for watching. Check out all the links down below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. You know, if I find more Halloween, um, but there's actually a few things in the mail too that I can't wait to unbox, so. Thank you so much, and I think tomorrow I'm going to use this for my coffee mug. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and check out the Lilies and Loafers channel for more good stuff. We'll see you soon.